Hey, it's Becca with Rebecca Reed Creative, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to import videos from Google Drive or wherever you have them to your Shopify site. So currently, there is no straightforward way of connecting Google Drive photos to your Shopify store. And that's because Shopify creates new URLs for images upon import. Ugh. Anyway, so you have to download the items, add CSV to your desktop, and then up add the photos in there, and then re-upload. It's a lot of work. That being said, this is probably your best option if you have a lot of photos. Um, if you don't know what a CSV file is, it's a spreadsheet that has all your product information. So I'm going to walk you through every single one of these steps. All right, so our first step, if you have um, all your photos in a Google Drive or whatever, is to just go up here and click download, and it will zip them. It takes a long time, just as a heads up, depending on how many items you have. Okay, so the best option if you're dealing with a lot of photos is to download them and then to upload them. So once you have them downloaded on your desktop, you can go to your main homepage and then go to settings and then files. And then right here is where you're going to upload them. As you can see, my files have all um, uploaded to here. So now what I'm going to do is uh, download the product CSV file. So to do that, you just need to go to the left hand side to products and then make sure it's on all products and you go export and then you want to make sure that right here it says all products instead and then you just export products all right now comes the daunting part so you take your new image url right here and you copy that and then you open up your uh, csv file and for me, I noticed it was in column Y um, where it said the image source. Yours might say image URL, um, but that's where you're going to put it. So then you find the item and you just, once you find the item, and it was in line 708 for me, right here, you just copy and paste that into the correct column. So right there. Once you're done edit, um, entering in all of the URLs, you can export this as a CSV to your desktop or whatever. And then you go back in to here and you go to products and you go to import and you'll choose the file and then you make sure to check this, lock, this box, <laughs> replace any current products and then it should be done. I hope you found this video helpful. I know it's annoyingly a lot of work. Unfortunately, Shopify doesn't have any other options at this point. Um, but if they do, I'll make sure to update this video and let you know. If you liked it, make sure that you hit the little like button and hit subscribe. I try to put out with videos every Wednesday. I try.